Hello. In this video, I will be breaking down the movements needed to pick up a TV remote. But before we do that, meet Alicia. The ability to pick up a TV remote is especially important for Alicia, as it allows her to participate in the leisure activity of watching TV. This occupation is meaningful to Alicia as she values her leisure time, especially being in college. After a long day of working on assignments and studying, she enjoys winding down by watching TV, and to do so, the act of reaching for and pushing a button on the TV to select a show is essential for her to participate in this meaningful occupation. To begin, I will first break down the movement into five different phases, and then we will look at the specific movements needed to make this action possible. First up, we have the stance phase. Alicia assumes a comfortable and balanced position on the couch to initiate the task of picking up the TV remote. Next is the preparatory phase, or the wind-up phase. In this phase, Alicia's muscles are prepared to generate enough force and momentum to allow her to reach over, pick up the remote, and press a button. After that comes the movement phase, or the action part of the task. In this phase, Alicia is beginning her movement by reaching over with her arm and picking up the remote with her hand, and bringing her arm back to her body, and presses a button on the remote to select what show she wants to watch. After the movement phase comes the follow-through phase, or the deceleration phase. Here, Alicia is slowing down all motion as she brings her arms to rest on her lap, and she moves on to the next phase. The recovery phase. In this phase, Alicia's body has fully stopped all motion, and she has remained balanced and is positioned comfortably on the couch. Her arms now both at rest in her lap, allowing her to be ready to engage in future movement, which for her will be kicking back to enjoy the show. Okay, so now we are going to look at the specific movements necessary for all of this to occur. Alicia begins her task, seated comfortably and balanced on the couch, as stated before in the face section of the video. She sits with her shoulders in neutral and elbows flexed. The arm closest to the remote, or her right arm, will be the one I'll be focusing on. Her right wrist is in neutral, her thumb in slight CMC Palmer abduction, and digits 2 through 5 are all in flexion at the MP, PIP, and DIP joints as she sits there, ready to reach for the remote. As the movement phase begins, she abducts her arm and extends her elbow. As she starts to reach for the remote, her wrist remains in neutral as her digits 2 through 5 extend at her MP, PIP, and DIP joints. Not fully, but enough so she is able to get her hand around the TV remote. With all of this going on, her thumb remains in slight palmar abduction. In addition to all of this, her forearm also slightly pronates so her hand is in the correct position to get her fingers around the remote and pick it up. As her hand makes contact with the remote, her arm is abducted from her body, elbow extended, wrist in neutral, and her digits all begin to flex so she can pick up the remote. The PIP and DIP joints of digits 2 through 5 do most of the flexion, and her thumb MP actually extends as her thumb IP joint flexes around the remote. As she begins to bring the remote back to her body, she allows her flex digits to support the remote while she starts to position her thumb so she can have it on the right button to select the show she wants to watch. While this is going on, her elbow starts to flex and her arm is adducting to bring her right upper extremity back to her body. Alicia also must supinate her forearm a little so that the remote is in the correct position when she goes to select the show she wishes to watch. With her arm now adducted back to her body and elbow flexed so the remote is up and pointed at the TV, her wrist is now slightly extended. As she raises her thumb off of the button to prepare to push it, her elbow flexes just a little and as she presses the button, the IP joint of her thumb flexes along with a slight MP flexion. After pressing the button to choose a show that will help her wind down and relax, she returns her arms back to her lap. Remote in hand so she can have it close by for future need, her elbow extends, and there is very slight shoulder abduction to bring the shoulder back into a neutral and comfortable position. 
Alicia is now able to relax and enjoy her favorite show after working hard all day long on classwork and studying for her courses.